What's up, sluts? XHG Grizzly here, bringing you a free for all gameplay slash commentary. Um, this one I go 30 and 7, like the last one, and this one's at resistance, like the one from two times ago, I do believe. Um, whatever, good shit. Um, in this commentary, I'm gonna be talking about a subject that was kind of, you know, I've been asked by two people to do it. Um, even though it's out there a lot, you know, you can just type it in YouTube and you get a thousand results and. Um, basically, I'm just going to talk about how to play free for all, or how I play free for all. Okay, we all have our different, you know, setups and you know what, how we like to play it and how we do good, you know, and all that shit. I'm just going to tell you how I do good. I don't know if it'll help you. Um, hopefully, it does. That'll be good shit. Um, yeah. So, a few tips um, and shit like that, like um, to play free for all. Um, a good gameplay for me, th free like a free for all gameplay, um, would probably be about 30 and 7. Um, that's kind of my average. Um, that's what I like to go for. Um, it's a good goal. You don't want to set them too high. Go like 30 and 2 and all that. That's just kind of, you know, that'll be a really lucky game for me. I have a friend that went uh, did 30 and 1, and you know I probably couldn't do that. You know he's really good at free for all and shit like that. So um, it's kind of just how you play the game. Um, how I play free for all. Um, I patrol one area, um, like what I'm doing here. I control the spawns. I know that, you know, they spawn on the left, the right, and in front of me. Um, they can't spawn, you know, behind me. Um, you know, shit like that. You just gotta, you gotta make sure you're in a, maybe not backed up in a corner, you know. That's just me. That's just kind of where I spawn, and I was doing good this game, so, you know, I have about three, three spots on this map that, um, that I like to play free-for-all in and shit like that or whatever. Um, more things, um, like if you want to get a gameplay, like let's say if you're recording and you make gameplays and shit, um, kill streaks. Um, that's kind of a big thing. I used to use the specialist thing, like the specialist perk system or whatever the hell it is, like a kill streak thing. Um, that's kind of slow. Like you get points for it and shit, but you want to end the game, you know, with, you know, good, good KD and you don't want to be super long. So I kind of have to use my kill streaks to get me, you know, a few extra kills, you know, like a helicopter or something like that. That helps you finish the game quicker and all that. So I recommend, um, <coughs> I recommend UAV, um, for free for all, I, I recommend, uh, LMS and attack helicopter. UAV, so, you know, you can just find anyone, you know, that's, you know, pretty easy. Uh, the LMS, um, instead of a Predator Missile, I used to use Predator Missiles, but now I use LMS. Um, they just get you more kills than a Predator Missile would. One time I got a, a Predator Missile triple, but, you know, normally you get one kill with LMS, I've had it. You know, it gets me three kills, you know, almost every time I put it down, so that, um, helps a lot. Um, attack helicopter, that's just, you know, common sense, you know, you want to control the air a little bit, you know, shake it up a bit. Um, good shit like that. Um, some more things, um, uh, like, it depends, like, free for all, um, you want to use certain perks and certain guns. Um, since me, I'm a sniper, I use the MSR, that's what I like to use. Um, I use dead silence, and the reason for that is because I don't like it when people can hear me, and when I'm trying to hear other people, um, my own footsteps kind of fucked up my rhythm, and I start to make mistakes and all that shit. You can't hear them and stuff. So I recommend, you know, you need a you need a good headset. Um, I used to use uh, Turtle Beach PX21s. Um, they were pretty good. Uh, I thought they were one of the best headsets out there. But then I got my hand on some Tritons. Um, Tritons. Um, something AX 720 or something like that and they are fucking god like they're amazing um, I can literally hear like everything in the fucking game um, they helped me a lot um, the first day I used them I got like three free-for-all gameplays so I'm pretty much stacked so I don't have to worry about that and you know they help a lot so you know um, get a good headset uh, make sure you you know, have the game volume up, don't just use it, and, you know, I didn't exactly have my Tritons, like, hooked up right the first time I used them, so at first when I used them, I was only hearing something from one, like, like, one ear, with my left ear or whatever, and I was just hearing shit from that, and I was like, yo, this thing kinda, you know, this headset kinda blows dick, whatever, but then I ended up fucking around with it, I ended up plugging it in right, and then, it was like fucking God, if God had a fucking headset, he would use Tritons, well, I don't know, cause Astros are fucking good too, but, um, right now, because Astros are pretty fucking expensive, I would recommend Tritons. Uh, they're really good. Um, I use my Turtle Beaches right now for commentaries, because it sounds better. My Tritons, I don't know why, it just fucking just sounds weird when I do commentaries with them, so I said, you know, fuck that shit. But, uh, back on the gameplay. 
Um, another thing is, um, you know, it's hard, it's hard to do good in free for alls. Okay, it's just overall, no matter what gun you use. So I don't recommend you just jumping in there with a sniper and expecting yourself to do good because I don't do good every time either. And there's, you know, lots of other, you know, really good gamers that they they don't get good gameplay every single time they play. So um, I suggest like um. You know, for warm-ups and stuff, controlling the spawn and all that. Just use a regular gun for a little bit if you're not really too smart with the sniper, as what some people are. Um, and, you know, just get used to free-for-alls with a regular gun before you actually start sniping. Unless you're really confident with your sniping shot and stuff, then go for it. But <clears throat> that's just my, you know, that's just what I think. Um, when, you, when you're using a sniper, uh, always go for the kill. Don't, um, if he's across the map... Don't go for a uh, fucking quick scope or a no scope across the map if you're trying to get a gameplay. Um, that's cool and fun and all. If you're actually trying to get a gameplay, you know, take the hard scope. You know, some kid will probably send you a message calling you, you know, you're a hard scope and faggot. Okay, that happens. I don't care. I got the kill and I won the game. So, when it's shit like that, don't worry about it. Just like when you're patrolling one area like what I was doing. Um, you know, people call you camper, all that shit. Um, there's a lot worse campers out there. I don't think it's camping. I kind of call it patrolling and whatever, you know, you do to win the game. I don't want you to sit there in a the corner and just, you know, hard scope people. You know, you still got to have fun with the game and, you know, just, you know, I try to have fun. And all my free-for-all gameplays, I have a lot of fun. That's why I like to play free-for-all. It's kind of more anticipated than um, domination or something. I, I like playing domination. A lot of my friends are online, but when no one's online, um, I like to play free-for-all because... You know, I like just being alone a lot, and, you know, they're shorter games, and that's what a lot of people like to watch, but they're also pretty hard to do sometimes. Um, when I try really hard, I can get a gameplay like nothing, but a lot of times when I'm just playing normal, um, I get pretty frustrated, and, you know, it's, it's hard getting a gameplay. You gotta, um, you gotta have a really good shot. You gotta learn how to play it. Um, you won't get good gameplays the first time you play it, but, you know, it's like tutorials like this that, you know, I had to watch, you know, like Optic Midnight and shit, you know. Um, I like watching her because she did free for alls a lot and taught me kind of how. I got really good at free for alls and mono for two, and that's the reason I like free for alls, just because I got really good at them really fast. So, I right, hope this thing helps you. Um, if you have any questions or anything, just send me a message. Until um, the next time, I'll just see you guys later. Peace.